Hi, and welcome. I'm Luna Craft. I'm here with the regular weekly Astro Tarot predictions or presentation. Um, and as always, I'll start with general astrological information, moving on to how it relates to your star sign. And then finally, looking at three tarot cards that have been drawn for you. Uh, this week I'm focusing right on you, Aries. As usual, I'm going to start with the general astrological information, moving on to what is relevant for your star sign, and then finally looking at three tarot cards that will be drawn for you. So the major event for this coming week is the full moon and that's when the moon and the sun are on opposite sides of the earth and light from the sun shines directly on the full face of the moon. This moon is interesting, it's known by various names, for example wolf moon in Native American traditions as this is when the pack would gather outside the villages and howl at the moon because they're hungry. It's also referred to as the moon after Yule because, yeah, this is the first full moon after the winter solstice. It's also referred to as old moon. Just one thing to point out for you, Aries, is there's very much a need for you to focus on letting go of baggage that's travelled with you from last year, all right? Um, but generally, things are likely to be quite slow, especially on the job front, and you could well find you yourself having to redo tasks that should have been completed by one of your colleagues. Um, resist the temptation to commit yourself to in your tasks, um, especially if the motivation to do that is to impress your manager. Or the, um, you will find that there's not a lot of free time to spend with your family and you may well feel that they're missing out. But when you do spend time with them, you will enjoy it. It will be fun. But by the end of the month, things should have eased up and more time should be available to you. Um, right, what else? Um, your creativity is waking up and you could well find yourself becoming in, absorbed by a creative task of some sort. You are not one who likes to have wasted time and this could lead you to return to working on a dream that you've had for many years but never had the opportunity to address it. Now you will get that opportunity. This month is very much about you leaving things behind, be they habits that are no longer good for you, negative self belief, uh, thought patterns that are no longer helpful, relationships that are no longer current. Send them all packing and leave the space available for further self-growth because it's coming your way, believe me. Right, let's turn now to your cards. One and two and three. Let me just turn those over and see what we've got. Okay, 
The first card is the Six of Swords. And that shows you releasing things that were, pre, you know, like I mentioned previously. It, it's been on your mind for some time. And now is the time to make that clean break and be ready to move forwards. Now, the next two cards go hand in hand. They are the Sun and the Empress, both of which are wonderful cards that indicate you being in receipt of happiness, affection and prosperity. They are willing, with your name attached, to come in as you let go and let go of the unwanted things and look on this as a turning point. Don't be harsh with yourself. You are taking care of yourself and that is very important. So don't feel guilty for you know not getting on with X, Y, Z. You're doing fine. Okay, that's it from me for this week. I wish you a really happy week. It's going to be quite busy. Hi, I'm Lona Craft and I'm here with the weekly Astro Tarot presentation. And as always, I'm going to start with the more general astrological information, then move on to stuff that is more focused on you. And talking of focus, I'm looking at you, Taurus. And finally, we will move on to three tarot cards to give messages, inspiration maybe, for the coming week. Okay, so the major event for this particular week is the full moon. And that happens when the moon and the sun are on opposite sides of the earth and the light from the sun shines direct onto the full face of the moon. This moon's interesting because it's an example wolf moon in Native American traditions, as this is when the hungry pack would gather outside the villages and howl at the moon. It's also referred to as the moon owl because it's the first full moon, the winter solstice. It's also referred to as the old moon. Okay, you may be tempted to make grand year-long resolutions and plans, but don't rush ahead too quickly. You can make this month as, you know, as a really solid stepping stone towards those intentions. Now, as I said, I am focusing on you, Taurus, and there are strong signs that you could be thinking about travelling and taking a well-earned holiday to somewhere warm and sunny. Something that you've not been able to do for some time now. Not always your, your doing, I have to add. You may even go ahead and make the booking arrangements. Be prepared to change your arrangements at no notice based on information regarding your intended destination. So it's something that you can't predict particularly. Um, now, moving on, you are destined to meet someone new who comes from a different and unique background. Don't be too hasty to judge because they will have a significant role to play and that should help you to get out of the rut that you've got yourself lodged in. It all ha happens to us all from time to time. 
all these things will probably lead to you taking on new routines and it could well start a shake-up in your life. This, in turn, could lead to any loose ends floating around being dealt with once and for all and you're probably going to be at how quickly you get through them. And as we get closer to the end of the month, it's likely that you become engrossed by a, a topic that's completely new to you and you want to learn as much about it as possible. So, interesting stuff. Let's have a look at your, your counts. We have got one, one two, and oh, oh, that one. Three. Right, let's get these turned over. And in the first position is the seven of coins. And that tends to be drawn when life adjustments are being made. And take it that it's a sign of something new, something different happening. And I believe it ties in with the shake-up of your routines. Now, in the middle, you've got the devil who is telling you that you are completely free and in control of your life, even when you don't see that yourself. Your decisions and the changes resulting from those. Okay? Finally, the emperor has turned up and he is pointing out that you may need to be more outspoken in future so you can put an end to being manipulated is the word I'm I'm getting by someone with their own agenda now is the time to switch the focus onto yourself for a change okay so heavy stuff but not bad stuff. I wish you a very, very good week. Hi, I'm Luna Craft, and I'm here with the regular weekly Astro Tarot presentation. Lovely that you can join me. At this time, I'm focusing in on you, Gemini, and... As normal, I will start with the general astrological information, then move on to things that are specific to your star sign, and finally drawing out three tarot cards that will either give information or inspiration for you for the coming week. So, kicking off, the real major event for this week is the full moon and that happens when the moon and the sun are on opposite sides of the earth and the light from the sun shines directly on the full face of the moon. This particular moon is known by various names, for example moon in Native American traditions as this is when the hungry pack would gather outside the villages and howl at the moon. It is also referred to as the moon after Yule because it's the first full moon after the winter solstice. Um, just something to bear in mind, and I'm probably too late with this, but you may be tempted to make grand year-long resolutions and plans, but don't rush ahead too quickly. Use this month as a stepping stone to get you going, all right? Now, what else do I need? Oh, yes, yes, there is one other message for you, Gemini. Um, 
look at your relationships. Is there one that is becoming toxic, no longer useful to you? If so, look for ways to, to end it. Get out of that situation. Now, hmm, I'm not suggesting that you're a Gemini, but find that you start having some uncharitable thoughts regarding someone's loyalty or their trustworthiness. If those thoughts are spoken out loud, it could well lead to the destruction of a relationship because they're not based. And there are some indications that delays could affect plans you are forming with a view to renting, buying or selling prop a property. However, those should end by the end of the month and you will be clear to you know, go ahead full speed. You'll also have some inspirational ideas about how to organise your living space. And when you come to consider the decor, think about using colours that make you feel good. All right, just a suggest. Okay, moving on to your tarot cards. There's one. That one. And that one. Three. Okay, let's whip these over and see what's what. Okay, the first two cards I'm going to read together. They are the hanged man and swords. And these two cards are showing that you've become caught in a situation where there is a, a no-win outcome. Because, and it, this isn't directed at you, but the other parties aren't prepared to budge. They're standing their ground. However, it will be cleared when all the parties start to consider different scenarios, different outcomes. And they will then show a willingness to reach a mutually acceptable solution. So, not all bad. And finally, you've got the fool. I'm not saying you're a fool, don't think that. But he is telling you that there are new beginnings for everyone who is involved in the negotiations that I've just mentioned. You can speed that up by adopting new ideas and drawing in new energies. Let yourself focus on everyone involved being freed and getting out of that situation. Okay, that's it for this week. It's going to be an interesting time for you, Gemini, but you're up to it. It's going to exercise your, your imagination and your um, intellect. You'll cope with it fine. Hi, I'm Luna Craft. And I'm here with this week's Astro Tarot presentation. And in my sights are the Cancerians amongst you. As usual, I will start with the general astrological information, moving on to the more personalised indications, and finally drawing out three tarot cards for you. So let's start off with the major event for this week is the full moon and you are going to feel it cancer because you are ruled by the moon. But 
That happens when the moon and the sun are on opposite sides of the earth and the light from the sun shines directly onto the full, full, full face of the moon. This moon is known by various names, for example, wolf moon in Native American traditions, as it's the month when the wolves gather outside the villages and howl at the moon. It's also the moon owl because it's the first full moon following the so winter solstice. Don't be too eager to make any hard and fast plans for this year. Use this month to prepare, to think about what you want from 2020. It'll come to you and it will help you ultimately. Now, moving on to the more specific, oh yeah, I remember. Any plans, especially long-term plans, ideas, keep them to yourself because there's a risk that a rival could try to muscle in and steal your thunder. Rest assured that you have the skills and talents required to achieve success. You will be recognised for your hard work ultimately and it will be well deserved. You make a decision that should be heard and for taking the lead and this is very likely to head you towards reaping the benefits. As January progresses, your spiritual development will move in contentment. You need it after the festive period. Okay, moving on to your tarot cards. Oh, that one. Just pulling three out now. And three. There we go. Let's turn them over. Oh my. Wow. Okay. The reason I'm saying wow is you've got three court cards. In fact, being more specific, you've got the Knight of Wands, the King of Swords, and the King of Wands. So it's pointing towards. Two things. One is you stepping up and taking the lead, taking on new authority. Um, and it can also indicate that because there's a knight and the kings, that a younger man is possibly being oppressed by an older man it could be colleagues it could be male relatives just be aware um now i'm also being shown that you need to find your hold back your ideas are every bit as good as anybody else's but if you don't share those people won't know what's going on and they won't know your preferences so don't be afraid to to speak up you don't have to hide in under your rock all the time all right and it is safe out there all right but if you feel uneasy you've still got your rock to return to okay cancer that's it from me for this week it's going to be an interesting week for you, but enjoy yourself. It's going to show you just what, what you'll get. I'll be back next week, same place. I sincerely hope that you will be able to join me as well. Okay, thank you for listening.
and goodbye.